Should you get Ash? Short answer, yes. That should be all. Adios. What? You need the long answer. Isn't her becoming the super limited 6 star is enough to make you want to use all your savings for her? Oh well. Long answer. This entire video. Time's up, Doc. Rainbow Operator, codename Ash. I have my authorization, and I'm ready for assignment. Ash is a six-star rapid fire sniper from Rainbow Six. A strict operator, and apparently from FBI. So make sure you don't do any war crime around her. Ash will become the third rapid fire sniper, besides Exha and Arkito. Her general stats is almost the same like other 6 star rapid fire sniper. Having a quick attack speed, and a good source for DPS. And yeah, her hitbox in this game is normal. Moving on to her talents. The first talent, after deployment, immediately throw a flashbang to enemy within range. Stunning them and nearby enemies for some time. A decent talent for crowd control. And she can also trigger this talent using her skill too. Which we will talk later. The second talent is an amazing talent. The first deployment will have a minus 3 DP cost. At Elite 2, this mean you can deploy Ash first time in the stage for only 11 DP. And the second effect is that Ash will receive some SP after deployment. Considering she has medium SP cost, and doesn't have any initial SP on her skills. This will be really useful. Next up for her skills. Her first skill. She will increase her attack damage, and this skill have an unlimited duration. A great skill for starter, but you might want to focus on her other skills than this one. The second skill will trigger her first talent when active. Greatly reduce her attack interval, and attacking stunned enemies will increase her damage. Great to partner with someone that can stun enemies frequently, like W. Also, this skill has a unique bullet mechanics. Once the skill is active, she will receive 31 bullets, each attack will consume one bullet. So the skill will end when all bullets are used. This is actually a great mechanics. With this, you can precisely control her skill. Since it can be both manually activate and deactivate. But be careful when deactivate this skill. Because she will recharge, or reload her skill point back from zero. So at mastery 3, you will need to wait 25 seconds for her to recharge her skill. Quite long for a reload, she definitely not using a sleight of hand perk. Moving to her third skill. She will fire a breaching round forwards. Dealing high physical damage to enemies along the way and push them back with large force. When the breaching round explode at the end of its range, it will deal 400% damage to nearby enemies on Mastery 3. But not only that, if the breaching round hits a high tile, it will immediately explode and deal 800% damage on Mastery 3. So make sure to always aim any high tile on the map. Nothing need to be said, this is a top tier burst skill. With the right buff and debuff from other operators, you can easily one-shot your enemies. But remember, you can only activate this skill twice per deployment. Next for her base skills. Both of her base skills will focus on control center. For every operator from Team Rainbow in the control center, reduce morale per hour of all operators in the control center. The second skill. For every operator from Team Rainbow in the control center. Gain plus one intelligence reserve. This intelligence reserve will be used to boost blitz and frost base skills. So, will Ash become a great operator for your team? When comparing her with other 6 star rapid fire sniper. Well, we can't really compare her with Arkito. So let's see with Exha. Their stats is pretty similar to each other. But let's see both of their DPS skills, Exha with her skill 3, and Ash with her skill 2. Both have a great DPS and quick attack interval. Unlike Ash that will use 31 bullets, which means 31 attacks. 
Extra skill 3 will shoot 5 times in a row, in 1 instance of attack for 15 seconds. While Ash will shoot 31 bullets at most, and doesn't have any attack damage boost. But what makes her skill 2 special, is that she will stun the enemies, and increase her attack damage to the stunned enemies greatly. So with that said, Exha will be a great machine gun against low def enemies, while Ash will be more specifically timed nuka, with her skill 2. So it won't be a bad idea to bring both of them in the same map. And regarding Ash skills. Her skill 1 is a great skill for starter, but you might don't want to depends on it. Her skill 2 is a great DPS source, prioritize to mastery 3 this skill first, to reduce her SP cost, and increase her damage. The skill 3 is a great burst skill with a shift mechanic. It will be a great skill to fight a boss type enemy, and make sure to always aim for that high tile. So overall, she is a great sniper to have, especially since she is limited. That should be all. Grab your wallet, we're about to hire an FBI operator. Adios.